Welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now, first of all, let me just start once again by saying thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, gone out to the website PhotoshopIsFun.com or the Facebook page and liked it. It is an absolutely excellent way to engage with you, to answer your questions, to see how you're using these tutorials and these um, different types of treatments that we do here on your own photography. It's a great way for us to engage. Now that said, today what I want to do is I want to cover a topic called the bleach bypass effect and it's a nice treatment for your photographs. We use this technique here in the studio and it's not a difficult technique to apply. Once you get all the steps down, you can also um, fold this into an action script so that it'll allow you to do really quick processing with your own photography. So with that said, let's get started. So for this tutorial, we're going to use this image, which is an image I took a few years ago down in Pike Place Market in Seattle. In fact, this is out in front of the original Starbucks and for the most part, I like how it turned out. This is just the raw image. It hasn't really been treated or anything. So the first step in this technique is to duplicate the background. And I'm going to go ahead and do that by dragging it down to the new layer icon. You could also do a command or a control J um, on your keyboard to uh, accomplish the same thing. Next, what I want to do is I want to change the blending mode layer to overlay. And if you're not familiar with overlay, what it is is a combination of screen and multiply, at least from a mathematical standpoint. That's how they arrive at overlay. And then next you want to go ahead and do control or command shift U on that layer. And what's that, what that's going to do is desaturate the layer. And you can see down here in your um, layers panel that you have a monochrome um, layer here at the top and then your original at the bottom. So this is the effect you get right now with the overlay um, blending mode. Next what you want to do is you want to ensure that your foreground color, this top one here, is black and the background color is white. And right now I have that inversed. So you can go either manually hit this um, little uh, arrow, double arrow to do that, or you can go ahead and just hit D on your keyboard and that should do it for you as well. And then next what we want to do is we want to go up to a, a filter and then down to filter gallery. And if you are using a previous version of Photoshop, then I believe this is in the um, distort um, uh, menu. But if you're using CS6 like I am here, you would go to filter gallery. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and do control zero on our, or command zero on our keyboard so that we can get the photograph um, in, you know, to fit to the window. And then next what we want to do is we want to look for diffuse glow. And I have it on diffuse glow right now. It's under distort here. And we're going to set our graininess to one, the glow amount to somewhere between five and seven is, is usually what I do. And then the clear amount around 10. And then once you do that, go ahead and click OK. And that will give you the bleach bypass effect. Now you can always dial it down with your opacity slider here. If it's too much or it's, you know, it's not exactly what you're looking for in terms of treatment for your photograph. Um, but in general, uh, you know, it often works uh, pretty well up in between the 80 and 100 percent range. But again, just play with it. See what works for you. And that is essentially how you do the bleach bypass effect. Till the next tutorial, happy photoshopping.